How would you like it if you could get leads for your business all over the world by using a simple platform that allows you to filter your leads based on the services that you can offer? It creates pitch pages for you. It creates reports that you can send to your customers. You can mill through this platform. It's going to show you also how hot these leads are, etc. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned uh, because today I'll be reviewing Pitch Perfect, uh, which is a platform that allows you to do so. Now, in case you're interested in getting this platform, there is a link in the description of this video that will redirect you to my website where you can find more information about the pricing, also uh, available upgrades, etc. Some bonuses that you're going to get if you pick this up through my link. So uh, make sure to check out that link. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you uh, what Pitch Perfect is all about. So right now I'm logged into the dashboard where you get an overview of your account of everything that's happening inside of your account. But to get started, we're going to click on find leads where you can search for leads on Google, Yelp or Foursquare. And first you need to enter your keywords. So this can be anything here. It has already some suggestions for you, uh, but you could also do custom. So let's say you wanna do a uh, plumber. Uh, you can type that in here and you can search for plumbers. So in this case, I'm gonna do uh, one pre-configured. So let's say I'm gonna do four daycares in here and I'm gonna search for them in Orlando. Now, again, you can search all over the world. So for example, I can search in Amersfoort as well. In the Netherlands, as you can see, um, you can search anywhere for leads. Just make sure your keyword matches the country. In this case, I'm gonna do Orlando here. I'm gonna search within 5,000 meters. You can also search within 1,000 or 15,000 meters. And I'm going to search for the businesses, daycare businesses in the area of Orlando. Now, as you can see here, uh, you can see the progress bar. It's searching for leads and it already comes up with a bunch of leads, as you can see in here. Um, these are all the leads that you can contact, that you can create pitch pages for, that you can contact through the platform. Uh, and it also comes with lead score. So as you can see here, uh, it says potential client value, $1,878. And the recommendation is to promote SEO services. Now this is different for each different lead. So here you can see this is a lower one, $922, promote social media marketing services. Uh, $1,698, $1,700, $1,900. $1, so this is a $2,000. So this is a higher one. And it says promote digital marketing service. Now, what you can do with each lead is you can click on complete analysis. And here you can get extra details for this specific client. So here you can see it doesn't have a title, not a meta. They have H1, H2, and H3. They do not have autoresponders, no out appointment, no reservation on their website, no ads. Uh, they have no analytics on their website. Social media, they do not have Twitter, no LinkedIn. Uh, you can check their page speed and their responsiveness. So when I click on here, uh, it's going to take a few minutes to, uh, yeah, to get the details for the page speed. But here you can see all the details for this specific client. If you like, you can also click here. You have their phone number and their email address. So when you click on here, you can see the website uh, yeah, that they have created. So uh, sometimes you will notice you have a website that's really buggy uh, where you can deliver your website services, for example. Uh, but in this case, let's see if it has already yet. Yeah, the page speed is 93, so that's pretty good. But the mobile score is 57. So for each lead, you can say complete analysis and you can see, okay, this one is only H1 on their page. Let's see if there's more. Uh, this is a $1,700. Let's see what this one has. Uh, no services used, no autoresponder, no ads, no analytics, etc. Now, if you want to filter leads, that's also possible. When you go to the top here, it also says show filters, where you have a bunch of filters where you can filter your leads. So let's say you want to do something like SEO factors. You can see there's one lead for SEO. Uh, if you want to see, uh, for example, social media presence here, there's one leads as well, services, without, without autoresponder, without appointment, without reservation. Eight leads, um, let's say analytics, if they do not have analytics in here, or maybe no tools. Well, let's unselect that one. You can see it has seven uh, leads available. So you can select all of this separately here. Uh, 
let's say you want to have clients that have uh, no Google uh, and no Facebook ads here, you can select that in here. So there are many filters in here. So if they do not have Meta here, you can see that eight without Meta here. Uh, no Instagram, for example, if you're specialized in Instagram or you want to do Twitter, you can see the eight leads in here. So you can create those filters and based on these filters, it will show you the leads in here as well. So when you're ready and you like to save this one, you can click on save draft in here. And what that will do is we'll add them to the pitch tab here at the left side. So you go from bottom to top. So first you're going to search for leads and then you go to the pitch tab where you can see those leads. So here you can see those leads uh, that you have saved in here. Now I have a very good one here at the bottom, for example, it's back at your best. And this is a lead score of $2,900. Now when you click on complete analysis in here, you can see this website does not have a title, not a meta description, not an H1, H2 or H3. Uh, no autoresponders, no ads, no analytics. So this business has not a lot. Even their mobile score is 36. And when I visit this website, look at this. This is their website. Now, this is a very old website. So, you know, I can offer my services to this business. Now, from here, from your pitch uh, page, here from those leads, you can say, I want to create an HTML report, a pitch page, and I want to send emails. So the first thing that we're going to create is a pitch page. Now, what this will do here is it shows you the pages that you can create with Pitch Perfect. So let's say we want to give local SEO services to this client. I can click on Create Page, and this will create a specific page for this customer where we can offer our SEO services specific for this client. So as you can see, it's going to create this page in the background here. Uh, this is going to take about a minute, so I'm gonna pause the video, come back once it's finished. But as you can see here, it creates all the different elements on your page. And there you can see it says, boom, your page is ready. And this is the page that you can send to your client. Now, everything on this page can be uh, modified. So the text, so you cannot add extra blocks. This is just a, a template that you can use. But for example, here, uh, you can change this to whatever you like. So for example, you can say that the second one, I wanna make this, for example, $29. And the third one, I wanna make this $49. And let's say this is an all-in-one, they can say, okay, for $99 uh, or $89, they can get this package. And if you want to add extra elements, you simply click on here and you can type enter and you can say SEO pages, for example. And then this menu will be expanded. So everything can be modified. Custom packages, you know, this can be modified. You can change the text in here. Simply click on it and you can write it. And also when you click on it, if you're not satisfied here, you can click on AI rewrite and it will rewrite this part for you and it can apply these changes and these will be added to your website. So as you can see here, all these details, uh, you can even set the customer name here on top uh, for this specific customer. So you can say uh, plumbing, I'm not sure this was no plumbing, but um, what was this kind of thing? Well, client name, let's say a client name here. Uh, and it will add the client name here on top of your page. Now you can publish this page. You can click on publish here. And look at this, this is the page that you can send to this specific client with all the details uh, specifically for this client that you're reaching out to. And as you can see here, there's a contact form as well. Uh, and you can change your logos as well, of course, but everything on this page can be modified. So this is the page that you have created. Now, if you wanna do more here, uh, it also says controls here. You can say, okay, you wanna remove parts here on this page if you like to. Also the autoresponders here, you can uh, use your own autoresponder, you can connect that, tracking codes, SEO options for this specific page, logo, you can change that, social options, the button links, as you can see here, this can be changed on the page uh, as well. Now, this is the first thing that you can do. Let's go back to page and let's go back to the specific client here. Uh, and then the second thing that you can do is you can create HTML reports. Now, what this will do, this is back at your best, that was what it was called. So let's say back uh, at your best here. And here you can enter your call to action. So contact us, for example, and you do your website, HTTPS and then timvridau.com slash contact. And you can say the same here. 
and then we can upload our own logo. And now what I can do is I can save and publish this and I can say, okay, save. What this will do is it will create a published page for me, which is now in the reports part here. So when I go to the reports part, you can see here back at your best, this is the page that we just created. And when I open this, look at this. This is a specific page for back at your best for that website. And as you can see here, the page Google speed for mobile page 36. Uh, SEO, very bad here. Do you see that? Uh, it has client reviews, but Facebook, no. Google, no. Uh, retargeting, no. Uh, competitors also on this page. Uh, website, you can see this is very red. So yeah, this is what you can offer to this client. Well, it has claimed uh, Google your business here. Uh, the service use, no Facebook, no Twitter. So this is the page that you can send to your customer here. Also mobile, high priority, as you can see, and they can contact you through this website. Now, the cool thing is that here you can see in this tab here, you can see cold lead, cold lead, cold lead, and this is a hot lead. Now, what that means is that this customer has visited this page multiple times. And you can also click here on the analytics uh, where you can see what's happening on your page. So here you can see that this page has been opened on the 6th of November here, and it has been visited for 33 seconds. And you can see here multiple details, the access time, the IP address, but also uh, you can see here that they click the call to action button, the second buttons after 10 seconds, it reached the bottom after 10.3 seconds. So this can be measured in here. And within the report section, you can see, okay, this client is hot, it has checked out my website. Now what you can do here, it also says an envelope where you can reach out to this customer, where you can choose these email swipes. So you can use these or you can type your own. So let's say PHP, that was very bad. You can say, um, well, a client, blah, blah, blah. Uh, subject line, blah, blah, blah. And here you have a, an email with the link to your report that they can check out. And then you can click on send. And of course you need to fill out the details and then that email will be sent to that specific customer. So you can also contact these customers through uh, Pitch Perfect through this platform as well. And you can also delete leads obviously in here. So if you don't want to use this lead any longer, you can remove that as well. Uh, but that's basically everything that you can do. So within the pitch section, you can also send emails from here. So let's say you see these leads and you want to email them directly. You can also send them an email through this platform, uh, through these leads here immediately. Uh, that's also possible. Uh, but this is how you find leads. Now, if you want to serve these clients, that's the next thing. So we have find leads, you have uh, the pitches here, you have the reports, and then in the serve part here, uh, you can use these options um, yeah, to, to deliver your services. So this is AI. So let's say you want to do a Google My Business description. You click on this and here you can fill out the details. So let me do that quickly. And now fill those out. So location Orlando, uh, USB, the best dental care, 20 years in business, voted best in the city. I want to write this professionally. So you have multiple options, do professionally. And now I can click on create content uh, and I can use this, the outcome, to add to my Google My Business profile if I'm gonna deliver this service. Now, the same thing is for Yelp, for example, here, where you can fill out the details, SEO titles and headings, if I wanna create those for those business, video scripts, ad copywriting, Twitter posts, etc. So I can deliver the services through my clients as well. And that's basically uh, what Pitch Perfect is all about, a platform to find leads all over the world. Uh, you can contact those leads, you can create pages for those leads, uh, you can create reports for those leads, you can contact them through a platform uh, and all of that inside of one platform. Now, again, if you're interested, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Um, yeah, uh, you can find all the details there like pricing, uh, available upgrades, also my bonus that you're going to get if you pick this up through my link. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments below. Please hit a thumbs up if this video was useful to you. Uh, and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, hit that notification bell uh, so that you get notified for each video that I upload to my channel. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next review video and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.